What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the MXR Pro Plus Android 7.1 TV box. This is a brand new TV box which has some decent specs and today we're going to find out how good it really is. So as usual we run our full performance tests including 4K videos, gaming, benchmarks and we'll see how it ranks in our top TV box performance charts comparing it to other Android TV boxes. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is the RK3328 quad core. You've got the GPU Mali 450. This has 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth version 4, Android version 7.1 Nougat, supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 30 frames per second, supports HLG and HDR10, and this supports HDMI version 2.0A. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual, an HDMI cable, a UK power adapter, a remote control, and last but not least, the brand new MXR Pro Plus. So here it is guys. You've got a shiny black finish on the front with the MXR Pro Plus logo. You've got a mesh finish on the front, and if we go to the side, you've got a full SD card slot, two standard USB 2s, and one USB 3 port. If we keep going, you've got another USB 2 port, SPDIF, AV, HDMI out, your network LAN and your power socket. And there's nothing on this side and that brings us back to the front. This is what the bottom of the unit looks like. So to give you a quick idea on the size, I'll bring in the H96 Max. So the MXR is slightly bigger than the H96 and slightly thicker too. So now I'm going to get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card and we're going to find out how good this TV box really is. I'll be right back. So first of all I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 10 seconds to fully load the home screen. So here is the home screen for this TV box. You have lots of shortcuts here with date, time, weather, clean memory and settings. You also have a bottom row of small icons which can be customised to show your favourite apps by simply hitting the plus sign and selecting your apps. Now let's go and have a quick look at settings. This TV box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which you have 26 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running the latest Android 7.1.2. This box also supports wireless hotspots and Bluetooth tethering, allowing you to share your internet connection from this box to other devices. Now let's check out the system apps. So here are all the default apps installed on this box as standard. You have some useful apps to get you started like YouTube, Netflix, TVMC, Film On and the full version of the Google Play Store giving you access to thousands of free games and apps. For you advanced users out there, this box has Google Widevine Level 3 and this box comes with root access from default. I tested Miracast with my Samsung Galaxy S8 with both AirPin Pro and Wi-Fi display and I could not get Miracast to work so this box does not support Miracast. So next we have TVMC which is basically a custom version of Kodi 17.4 Krypton. You can however go ahead and install the official version of Kodi from the Play Store. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive. Let's go ahead and play the first video. That was 4K videos, let's move on now to the YouTube tests. You can stream a maximum of 1080p videos on YouTube. You're as good as your reputation. You've got every agency in the world after you. This is going to be awesome. She will do God's will. Why shouldn't she follow me? 
Now let's go ahead and check out the gaming performance. As with nearly all Android TV boxes, you can also stream videos from the web browser. And here is a short sample video. It's weird. You like hang out with animals more than people. Yeah, well, animals get me. I rescued George when he was two years old. George so in the Wi-Fi speed test, this TV box achieved download speeds of 16.7 megabits per second and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. This is just about average considering the top speeds I currently achieve is between 25 to 30 megabits per second. And in the Antutu benchmark test, this box achieved a total score of 36,160. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2017, showing you all the latest Android TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So the MXR Pro Plus has achieved position 38 on this chart and you can view all my latest charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So it'll be interesting to see what's next, so stay tuned, we have lots more to come. So there you have it guys, that was the MXR Pro Plus Android TV box. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So here we have another decent mid-range Android TV box which does exactly what it says on the tin. Games I tested played quite well, supports a maximum of 4K videos at 30 frames per second, plays 1080p on YouTube, has all the extras like USB 3, Bluetooth and dual band Wi-Fi. Miracast was not supported and I received average Wi-Fi speeds. Nevertheless, I was able to stream full movies and TV shows with no buffering or stuttering issues. The video streamed very smooth and I found no issues whilst testing this box. This is a nice mid-range Android TV box which does a good job in streaming and playing games quite well. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.